Hi, Aaron here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at using JIRA permission schemes for restricting project access in JIRA Cloud. Now you should note that permission schemes are not configurable in the free version of JIRA Cloud, so you'll need a standard subscription or higher to do this. If you're on a free subscription, check out some of my videos on using workflow properties instead. Okay, let's get started. As a site administrator, we're going to go to Settings, Issues, and we'll scroll down and find Permission Schemes. Next, we're going to locate our project's permission scheme and select Copy. We want to make a copy so that it's easier to roll back our changes. Now we're going to find our copy, edit it, and give it a better name and description. Okay, now we can find our updated scheme in the list, and this time we'll select permissions to begin making changes. You'll see the permission scheme is organized into different categories, such as project permissions, issue permissions, and etc. And inside each permission scheme is a list of assignable permissions. Next, you'll notice that in the default permission scheme, most permissions are either for admins only, such as administering projects or deleting issues. And most other permissions are open to any logged in user such as creating issues, editing issues, and etc. In this exercise, we'll restrict some of those permissions that are open to all users by default. The first permission we want to look at is the Browse Projects permission. This controls who will see your project in the projects list in JIRA, and who can see the issues inside your project when they're browsing through JIRA, searching through JIRA, and etc. You'll notice that by default, any logged in user is going to be able to browse for your project. And in this restricted workflow, we're going to limit this to only users that have been explicitly added to the project. To do this, first we're going to create a custom project role for adding users. To do that, we're going to go to Settings, System, and Project Roles. And here we can create a new role for our team members. Okay, now that we've created our custom project role, we can go back to our permission scheme and make use of it. Okay, now that we're back in our project permission scheme, we can update the browse projects permission. And we're gonna to select to grant access to a project role, which will be our new team member role. Now, anybody that's explicitly added as a team member to that project will be able to browse for it. But this setting won't have any impact unless we first remove any logged in user. To do that, we'll press remove. We'll select the access for any logged in user and remove it. There, only explicit team members will be able to browse for our project. Now let's update a few more permissions. I'm gonna scroll down to the issue permission section and find the close issues permission. In our workflow, we only want the quality department to be able to close issues. So once again, we're gonna use the update command and grant access to our quality users. But this time, instead of a project role, let's grant access to a group. And we'll select our software quality assurance group. And once again, we need to remove access to any logged in user. Okay, now, only members of the Software Quality Assurance group will be able to close issues, but of course those same users must also be added as team members or they won't be able to get to the project in the first place. Okay, let's update one more permission and that's for resolving issues. Let's suppose this is a bug fixing project and in our workflow we only want the reporter or the team lead to be able to resolve our issues. So this time when we go to update the permissions, we can select that either the reporter 
or the project lead will be able to resolve the issues. And as always, we need to go back and remove any logged in user. Great, now the project lead and the reporter can resolve our issues. Once you're done configuring your project permission scheme, the last step is to associate the scheme with your project. To do that, we need to go to Settings and Projects. Then we'll find our project in the list and select Settings. Inside the project settings, we can select permissions. And JIRA will show us the currently configured project permission scheme. To update this, we'll go to actions and use a different scheme. And from here, we can select the new scheme that we just configured. Once we've assigned our new restricted scheme to the project, now we need to add people to the project. We'll go to add people. In here we can add our, add our team members and grant them access to the project. Only these users that we explicitly add as team members will be able to find this project and access its issues. That was a company managed project. Team managed projects provide similar restrictions. For a team managed project, let's go to project settings and then access. Now the first thing we need to do is to change the project access and select private. This way only the people we add will have access to our project. And now we can add people to our project and assign them to roles just like we did for the company managed project. Team managed projects have three roles available off the shelf, administrators, members, and viewers. The member role is very similar to the team member role that we created in site configurations previously. If you need to create custom roles to implement granular permissions like we demonstrated earlier, for the team managed project, just go to manage roles and then create role. And you can see that many of the same configurations, if not all of them, that we saw for company managed projects are configurable here. You can create your custom role and then add users to it. Okay, that's it. We just configured a custom permission scheme for restricting access to our project, and we even restricted some of the actions inside that project. I'm sure you can take it from here and configure your own permission scheme to match your company's policies and procedures. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.